Hi, my name is Ayman Aitani. I'm a business growth specialist. I'm going to talk to you today about TikTok in the Middle East. And uh, so today I'm talking about TikTok and cities in the Middle East and uh, the yesterday's announcement of TikTok's US acquisition and what does it mean for us in the Middle East. And also next week, I'll be talking, uh, I'll be doing like a hands-on demo on how to best use TikTok. So for that, uh, join me next week. I'll be sending the link in the uh, chat discussion. And as usual, any information that you need or questions you might have on Instagram or TikTok, if you're on TikTok as well already, um, uh, I'm, I'm reachable there. All right, let's, um, let's address the global deal with Oracle and Walmart that was announced on the 20th and the 19th, depending on what country you're in. So um, one of the key messages is that social media is business, meaning that in many circles that I'm in, people make, still make fun of content on social media. They still make fun of people on social media. And also I have business discussions with business owners and large businesses and they say, you know, social media is not for us or this type of channel is not for us. Then again, you have the topic of TikTok that has multinational companies looking across multiple countries to address it. And there are discussions about data ownership, revenue, taxes and more. So on one hand, you have governments and large commercial entities discussing billions of dollars of, of money in acquisition. And then on the other hand, you have business owners or people who say social media is not for us, it doesn't work for our business. So there's something that doesn't make sense here from the social media misunderstanding still in 2020. So social media is business for a small business owner, a large business owner, for a personal profile, anything. Another component related to TikTok is, if you look at pattern recognition, um, social networks always, they tend to start young and they age up. You were not on Instagram. You were not on Facebook for a while. So when you say that TikTok is not for me, it's for the kids, it's only a matter of time until you join it and you're part of it. So the same thing happened for you on Instagram and you were not on Instagram and you joined it. It was for photographers, for young people, you, uh, Facebook as well. So when you join TikTok, remember me, I remember this discussion, 2020, September, you will join it. Another aspect as well that stood out for me is um, TikTok uh, has been pushing a message to business, which is make TikTok, not ads. For me, that's a very clear message that TikTok is open for business. They are, uh, clear that businesses are welcome to come in with their media spend and their production. However, our recommendation is not to do what you've been doing on all of the other social networks in terms of running ads. In within our TikTok, you should make TikTok not to ad being part of the discussion. So for that to work out, though, there's a a, a long uh, educational path that TikTok is on to get businesses to do this and to get businesses away from. What they obsess about is the production quality, is one message or one ad that runs for six months or a year uh, about having the perfect uh, ad and the perfect message uh, about showing character and so on. So those aspects are going to be difficult for uh, people to, for businesses to go with when, when it looks at, at TikTok. So uh, that, that's why I say there's an education, long education process that TikTok will, will, uh, will go through in order to, to, to reach that. But if you're a business today that is running, on, uh, uh, running ads on Instagram, Facebook, and Google, you would likely start to include TikTok in your ad budget. Um, when, when we look at TikTok Middle East, um, the, in January, their team was around 10 people. Now, you know, six, seven months later, you're looking at more than 100 people uh, for the Middle East market. There's, um, they're working on the localization of content. So Nancy Ajran ran uh, a live uh, show fully on TikTok uh, a couple of days ago. And there are many other, many other initiatives like this uh, that are making the rounds. Um, uh, Hassan Jasmi is, uh, some of his music is, is, is trending on as background songs uh, to uh, content that's being published in the East. And uh, what the TikTok Middle East office did is they created an open day, uh, uh, like uh, it's, a, it's an event, it's an own digital event, 
uh, that this is a, a, a recording preview of, of what it looked like. It's a combination of education, awareness. They had a lot of downloadable files. Uh, there were um, statistics. There were um, uh, pre-recorded aspects. Uh, I'm going to show the video now. So here you have different navigation items. When you click on it, you navigate from one room to the other, from one virtual room to the other. And then in a room, you have an intro video usually. Hi, it's me again. Welcome to the director. So with every room that you go into, you'd have a uh, like an intro video from a team member of TikTok setting the scene and information about it. Um, as the day progresses and many speakers come in, there are already other pre-recorded messages that were going through. So uh, it was a it was a busy uh, uh, open day for that. That's specifically for the Middle East. This initiative, it's more of uh, startups and TikTok. That's a global initiative. Uh, they're calling it Pitch in the Sky, just for you to have a bit of a bit of a uh, background uh, about it. So this is like an overall intro video of what uh, of what TikTok is uh, and what it looks like and how, how to behave with it. And um, one of the aspects there as well is um, there's a focus on uh, creators and uh, you see this across Facebook and other networks as well, is they focus on the creators. So Facebook has its own brand and collaboration manager um, TikTok have their own uh, uh, creator marketplace. So the objective, because with the uh, with the creators, uh, with the creators, what happens is us as users, we tend to follow and spend time on the network, spend more watch time, consume more content. So there's incentives being created for us as users to enjoy the content that's there, and there's also incentives for the creators to become much more well known and be able to monetize either directly from TikTok paying out top, top, top creators or by, by, by brand collaborations with brands reaching out to them. We know it's tough to stand out from the crowd. Here's how to break out in the square. You can do it by being fresh. Finish the polish, take a risk, and show a little imperfection. Be flossy. Yeah, flossy. Let TikTok creators and their instincts take over for you. They're experts at making TikToks, so skip the ad filler. When they do something fun and authentic, millions of viewers follow the game. TikTok creators are raising the bar and taking engagement off the charts. They're ready to turn your brain into a sensation. Meet thousands of TikToks creators in one place. TikTok Creator Marketplace, the official platform where brands and creators put their heads together to make something special. And here, you'll be able to read comprehensive metrics on each creator. TikTok can put you in touch with any of them whenever you want. Whether they're the foodies with the best taste, the leading voices in the global gamer community, the beauty and lifestyle tastemakers with the most clout. Based in 18 countries, they're assembled for you at the creator marketplace. Just a few clicks away. 
in addition to creative collaborations. TikTok can boost your branded content and feeds around the world. Globalized, acclimatized, and localized in TikTok's rotation of videos. Use the campaign management tool to keep track of all of your creative collaboration. And the campaign data here is authenticated. From concept to completion and beyond. So the concept behind it is that um, you can work with the creators, right? You can work with the creators for positioning your brand. So the concept is if you're struggling as a business to figure out how, uh, you know, business, your brand or your business content will live on TikTok. If you get somebody who's natively comfortable using TikTok, he or she can advise you, they can create content for you, they can promote the content for you and so on. And you'll have full transparency where you're able to look at the numbers and so on. So you rely on, on the numbers from the platform itself. So that's a way to, uh, that's another way how businesses are, are, are looking at doing this. I know that TikTok is relatively new for you depending on the age group that you're in, depending on the business that you're in. But what I'm trying to point out is that it is uh, growing extensively pre-COVID, uh, uh, ginormously during COVID, and their MENA, their Middle East focus has been growing by spending more resources and people in growing their teams locally and working on uh, local content and local advertising of, of, of different things. Uh, and uh, it will age up. So if you're not in the age group that currently uh, has TikTok active in, in your network, more and more people of an older age group are there. Um, I've been personally I'm, uh, more active there as well, trying to figure out a little bit more at the platform and how it works and what we're looking at. So there are a couple of things that, that I'll, I'll try to show you of how it works and what, and what, I'm, what I'm trying to do with it. Let me try to share my screen, just give me a minute. All right, so so this is something I shared uh, earlier this morning about uh, TikTok. It's in Arabic. Uh, I've been trying to focus more on my Arabic content on, on TikTok. So this is uh, examples of one or four things you, you, need, you need to know about the, uh, about the acquisition. Um, other ones that I've been trying to experiment with is So this me trying to explain things. There are other ones that, that are more on the musical side. Uh, so these are more on the funner side. Uh, in this one, I'm trying to show what my day is like. Uh, I did the mistake of uh, not figuring out the voiceover properly. So, uh, but still, and we'll go back and correct it. Uh, these are different different types of, of, of videos that you can. So this again, this is me, but but the content on 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 that is is different. So so yeah, that's the uh, that summarizes overall TikTok and what's happening and what's being done. So uh, we'll talk more about that in uh, uh, in the upcoming session next week. I'll be doing more of a hands-on demo and and what's being done. All right, so uh, as always, if you have any questions for me, uh, let me know. All right, bye-bye, thanks.